Hi guys, Robert Rask, Rask Guitars. Today we're going to be building a neck, um, with the neck blank anyway. Uh, anytime I start a brand new guitar build, that's the very first step I do. I build the neck, I want to glue everything together and I want it to kind of sit while the rest of the, the, the guitar is getting put together. And that way if there's any movement in it after I've kind of cut some things up and glued them together, uh, we can address it before we actually finish the final guitar. So with that, um, I always start up my chop saw and table saw, um, cutting them to length uh, and then to width. I'm not going to go over that because if you're building a guitar, I'm sure you know how to use a table saw and a chop saw. But for mine, I get them at three and a quarter wide. That just accommodates my headstock, uh, makes it easy so I can have a solid one piece without having any wings on it. Now that our neck blanks are thickness to size, uh, they're, they're nice and parallel and clean on both sides. We got a good glue joint for when we glue up our heel stack. Um, now we can go to the bandsaw. Okay, now we're ready to do our scarf joint. Um, the way I do mine is a really simple jig. Um, it's actually quite ugly, um, not very attractive here. But it's very simple, it just rides along my fence here, okay? And so I'm gonna start by putting my blank in, and I've got my jig, you know, kind of cut off, uh, the fence on the jig cut off to, to make it exactly the length that it needs to be. Then I take a C clamp, put it on here kind of at the end, okay? And get it nice and tight we're where we want to be okay then I'm gonna push my my sled all the way up to not to where I'm touching the blade but close to it okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my second clamp right behind you know the, the, the blade guard assembly Okay, now that I've got my head plate cut off, then I can come around and we'll remove the clamps. We're going to resaw this because I don't need it to be that thick on the head plate. So now I'm going to come in and lower that by a little bit. I don't need my head plate to be this thick. We want the finish thickness to be 5 8 So I'm going to resaw this head plate to a half an inch or just over a half an inch so I can sand it down to a half an inch and then I can put an eighth inch head plate on it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and resaw that. <laughs> This is where I do all my neck carving and everything. But we're gonna dress this edge. So the way we're gonna do this is, you can use double-sided tape. I don't like to waste that. I like to save money and use the blue and glue. Um, CA glue with blue tape. So, I'm gonna put a couple of things of tape on here. Back side of that with some more blue tape. Now that I got these glued, um, double-sided tape or whatever you're gonna use together, um, 
we got to check our progress monitor, so I'm going to put some lines on there so we know what we're doing. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is find the top of my joint right there. Okay. And then I'm going to check that for square. And I'm not quite square, but I'm close. Okay. So no big deal. Okay, this is one of my favorite tools. This is just a piece of granite that I got from a granite countertop company here in town. Uh, this was actually a piece that was left over broken from the splash. So it's four inches by, well, and I took a long piece and cut it down with a, with a wet saw. And so I've got four by six pieces of this and I put um, PSA sandpaper on there. And they're nice, they've got some weight to them, but they're perfectly flat. So I'll use this on my scarf joint to prep it, okay? And so this is how I get them flat, true. Okay, you can see that I've got a little bit of a low spot right here. And everything else is like coming pretty uh, clean and flat right now, okay? Uh, this isn't perfectly straight, that needs to be. Same with here and up here. So I'll keep going until I have that, but I can also favor one side or the other if I need to straighten that out. Looks like I'm starting to kind of tilt this way a little bit. <clears throat> okay, a couple things. One, I use 60 grit sandpaper on this particular block for this job. It makes really quick work of it. Um, and the other thing is you want to be careful as you're, as you're moving this back and forth that you're not rocking it. You want to make sure you're feeling super, super straight, flat, and level you know, to, to the plane you're trying to clean up. But that's it. Now we're good to go. Separate this with this tape, this um, blue and glue. Uh, it just has to come straight up. It will never move side to side. So you use a chisel and just get it underneath there and pry it up and it'll come right off. That's all I need. Okay, We've got some, uh, oh, it's like deli wrap, wax paper, dry wax paper, I get it from Costco. I use that to keep the glue from squeezing out and gluing everything to my fixture. So we're gonna dry fit everything, but before I do, talk about grain orientation. Right now the grain is kind of going that way, that way, that way, and that way. Do not have them all go the same direction, okay? That would be a problem. Um, by doing it this way, you're having everything pull against each other and keeping it straight and square. So I'm going to start, actually, that is wrong. Oh, that is right, that's correct, okay. So we're gonna put that in, craft paper in. wax paper, whatever you want to call it, okay? And then I'm going to mark this so that I don't, when I'm gluing, I don't get them confused and put them in upside down. So I'll put a mark on one side so I know the order and, and the alignment, okay? Um, now, the next thing, I'm going to take a clamp and just put it right on the center of this one of the main neck section, okay? That's now in there. I can take my head stock, put it in, Slide up my um, little end clamp, and this keeps everything from slipping and sliding around once you get glue on it. So it makes it really easy to work with. Okay, I'm going to set these aside for a minute because I'm not going to glue those yet. I'm going to grab my pencil, mark a line. Clean up my glue and I'm pretty much done with that neck. Okay, only need about 20 minutes in the clamps, depending on weather or temperature. I usually leave them in for a little longer. I'll go to work on something else. 
Then we can pull it out and we've got our neck blink done. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, this is the jig I use. I'll let you kind of get a shot of that real quick so you can kind of see how I made it. We've got some T-nuts in on the back side. That gives you the ability to screw these um, handles in. Star knobs or whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, that makes it really easy for gluing up. So anyway, good luck in your builds. Thanks.